feeling hopeless till you came around, came around All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs You show me how to do Good morning, please excuse my puffy face and morning voice but today I thought I'd film a what I eat in a day because I recently went vegan as you might know. It's probably been a few months now and since then I've been getting a lot of requests to do these kind of videos because obviously I'm also at uni so the meals have to be quite budget friendly. I'm also into the gym and fitness so I've been trying to watch my protein probably more than I did before. Before we get started though I do want to say that if you know this video is going to negatively affect you in any way then please do not watch it take this as your opportunity now to click off it it's currently about half past eight and I'm trying to find the energy to actually get up and do a workout I've recently been going back to the gym obviously since they've been open which has been so nice I'm not on any particular plan at the moment I've just been doing my own thing based on knowledge that I've got from previous plans that I've done and research and I've been really enjoying it to be fair and I've been making some really good progress. Saying all that, today it is chucking it down so I think I'm just going to do a home workout because I also have a lot of uni work I need to do today. All of my deadlines are next week and it's currently Saturday so I should probably get on with it. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? Shit. <laughs> Always close your protein shakers properly, otherwise that happens. So as I said, I have been going to the gym most days recently, but if I do a home workout, I've been absolutely loving Caroline Gervin's videos because she uses weight, she uses quite heavy dumbbells, and I'm not a massive fan of just HIIT or cardio, but if it does involve some form of weight training, I find that I enjoy it so much more. I'll put the exact one that I did on screen because it was so good and absolutely killed me off. After I'd finished I made a protein shake. I'm currently using the salted caramel Vivo Life protein which I'm really enjoying. Then I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos ever you can guess what I'm gonna make for breakfast because I have pretty much the same thing every day and that is porridge. I just use these Quaker oat sachets because I'm lazy, I'm not gonna lie. I then put some pea milk in it, I put some frozen blueberries and mix those round to sort of defrost them a little bit. I then cut up a banana and put that on as toppings and then I also add some peanut butter. This pip and nut one is the absolute best. I then also try and make sure to take a vegan vitamin twice a day with meals. So I've just got out of the shower, as you can see, and I'm getting ready for the day. The day just being me sat at my desk doing uni work, but I thought now would be a good chance for me to tell you about Native, which is a deodorant brand that I've been using for the past couple of weeks. And I've really been enjoying and it's really become a important part of my routine. I've spoken quite a bit on Instagram about wanting to go more zero waste in terms of the products that I'm buying and Native is literally perfect for this because it's exactly the same formula as their normal deodorants but they do plastic free packaging. They're also vegan and cruelty free which is another thing I'm obviously looking for when buying new products. However, they're not sticky at all they actually dry really fast. So as you can see, I have three and I thought I'd just quickly talk you through how I use the different ones because they're all different scents. So I wear them for slightly different occasions. I don't know if that's weird or not, but this cucumber and mint one, I wear just before I go to the gym because I feel like it smells really clean and fresh. Then the coconut and vanilla one, I just wear on an everyday basis. So I'm gonna put some on now because I've just had a shower. You just push it up through the bottom like that and then obviously apply it. I don't know why I'm giving you a deodorant tutorial now. And then finally, this lilac and white tea one. I wear if I'm going out somewhere in the evening. So if we're going out for drinks, food, anything like that, because I feel like this one smells a little bit more 
sophisticated I don't know because it's more floral anyway if you are looking for a more sustainable deodorant then definitely make sure to check out native I have a code as well Lydia V which gets you 25% off a pack of three plastic free deodorants so I'll have the link down below in the description so as you probably know I am a big fan of coffee however recently I've been trying to have my coffee a little bit later on in the morning after my workout instead of before because I find this way I just have more energy for longer in the day which is obviously what I need right now with so much work on. Please excuse the dressing gown situation the house is absolutely freezing today because of the weather but I'm gonna make myself some lunch now and I find that I go through real phases with my lunches I tend to stick to one thing for like a week until I get sick of it and then I change it and then I just eat that for a week and I'm currently in a bit of a wrap phase <laughs> as in like actual wraps so I'm gonna make myself a pakora wrap for lunch I have these whole wheat ones is it whole wheat whole meal I've got some hummus that I'm gonna put in it I then have these sweet potato pakoras if you haven't tried these they're from Aldi and they are so nice I think I prefer them over falafels because they're not as dry I've then got a load of salady bits that need using up and I've got some tomatoes and I'm gonna put some spring onion in it. Don't worry, this time I actually am gonna cut my spring onion. If you watched my weekly vlog, I caused a bit of an uproar by putting a whole spring onion into my wrap and fair enough because what was I thinking? That was not my finest decision. So I am gonna cut it this time. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? Today's snack is actually such a throwback. If anyone's been watching me right from the start, from my GCSEs, I always used to eat apple and cheese and it is an odd combination. Like I don't know why I do this, I don't know where it's come from, but I've got some Violife Epic Mature. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be the same with vegan cheese because obviously I used to eat it with actual cheddar. And trust me, this is actually a nice combination. It is dinner time and I have been so excited all day about what I'm cooking for dinner because I'm making a spag bol and I haven't cooked spag bol in so long but it is one of my favourite meals and I actually bought this um, Linda McCartney vegetarian mint so I'm very excited to try that. It's vegan by the way not just vegetarian. For the bolognese sauce I've got some passata which I'm gonna see Season. and then for vegetables I've got mushrooms, courgette, spinach, onion and then I've got this high protein pasta that I got from Morrison's as well so hopefully it's all going to come together well. I'm going to try and leave it on the hob to kind of simmer for about 20 minutes because I feel like spag bowl always tastes nicer when you do that but that's going to be a test of patience because I am so hungry right now. I'm sure you don't need a step-by-step -step guide as to how to make bag bowl but I didn't follow a recipe and I know that people ask so I thought I'd just talk it through anyway. I started by chopping up all of my vegetables and firstly adding the onion to a pan with a bit of fry light and just softening that up for a couple of minutes before adding in the rest of my vegetables. I then added the whole carton of passata and just stirred that around a bit to coat all the vegetables and I then added the mince and also stirred that in. Then to add some flavour to the Sauce, I added a generous amount of garlic and also a vegetable stock cube. This also helps to thin out the sauce a little bit because it can be quite thick with just the passata. And then I put the lid on and let that simmer for 20 minutes. About halfway through the cooking time, so after around 10 minutes, I then boiled some water and put the pasta on to cook. And this just means that the sauce and the pasta is done at pretty much the same time. I then dished it up and gave myself a generous portion of sauce because I was really hungry. I then grated some of the same Violife cheese on top and 
Oh my God, guys, this was absolutely incredible. I demolished this and it still meant that I had a really good portion for the next day. Then to finish the day, I had a few bits of this hazelnut vegan chocolate. So that is all for today's video. I'm gonna head to bed now. So I really hope that you enjoyed. I actually had a lot of fun filming this today. So I'll definitely do more in the future if you guys like them. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. I often post way more health and fitness stuff over there than I do on YouTube. So definitely go and check that out. Bye guys. Oh.